All right, what's up, you guys? This is a cast to catch of a nine pound, 14 ounce bass. And uh, you're probably wondering, why are you commentating over this one? You don't ever commentate over the other ones. Well, it's because this is the worst cast to catch I have ever captured in my life. So I just kind of had to explain myself, tell you about everything that went wrong leading up to this and what I did wrong capturing it. Everything that could have went wrong, went wrong in this video. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Uh, so right here I pull up the spot, I set my rod down, I set my paddle down, and it immediately starts falling off, and I'm, I go ahead and make the cast anyway. It was a terrible cast, I should have just waited and adjusted my gear, but the, what you can't see off camera, what you're going to see here in a second, is a tree that I happen to cast directly over, and, you know, with luck has it, that fish was going to hit over the tree. So as you can see here, the fish is stuck in the tree, just kind of pulling me towards it. Um, there's nothing I can do here. As you can see, she's all the way up underneath it trying to go around. So the best thing I can do is just kind of poke my rod on the other side, try and get her out. But she is running, running. I've never seen a fish run this hard, even up under the tree like that. And she has one point of the hook in her forehead. So uh, we're all sitting here struggling. Nick's trying to grab her. She's just stuck on the limb at this point. Um, there is almost nothing I can do here. But as luck would have it, with that one single point stuck in the top of her head, she manages to come off, and I somehow get her onto the board. Absolutely crazy. Definitely should not have even happened. I shouldn't be holding this fish, but amazing the way things work out sometimes. Nine pounds, 14 ounces. Anyway, final note here, just wanted to give a quick shout out to Daniel McNeely. Uh, I'll leave his Instagram in the description below. Super cool guy. He actually hooked me up with this Piz Shadley that I've been catching so many fish on. He told me to go get some teeth marks on it, rash the hell out of it, and oh, it's been working super well. So uh, thanks so much, Daniel. I appreciate it. You're a lifesaver, honestly. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.